Well, welcome everybody. Uh, my name is Dr. Alvaro Dominguez Gomez, and I actually teach here at uh, the ABSN program here in Temecula, and I also teach at main campus as well. So um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the ABSN program here because basically that's the, the, the main program that we offer here that's nursing. Um, so we do admit um, year-round pretty much, uh, three cohorts, 150 per academic year. In the fall and in the um, summer, um, we admit, um, it, and these are approximate numbers. Um, it's not uh, really a hard and fast rule there because um, this is all based on do we have the accommodations and all those sort of things. So, um, but on the average, like I said, it's about 50. If there's anything I'd like to say about the situation of how the uh, core is set up, you have, uh, I kind of like it because they set it up very much like an actual nurse has their uh, schedule. You have a lecture class for one day, and then you usually have lab for two days, which is very similar to the three, day sh uh, three uh, days a week shifts that nurses have. And then you go to your lectures here. You're probably going to be in these rooms if you get into the program. And then later you go out to the hospital and you practice the same exact skills that you're studying. So for example, you go med surgery, you're like, oh, we're going to talk about uh, like catheters, like a urinary catheter. <laughs> or we'll make it a little bit simpler. We'll talk about med administration. And then later, you read it and you're like, oh, like you got to wash your hands, make sure everything's good, like read the labels because you don't want to give any expired drugs. And then you go out to the hospital the next day and then the nurses over there are like, hey, you want to try giving drugs to this patient? I'm like, sure. <laughs> and it's a great, uh, it concretes information in your mind because like, I'm sure you guys know about like visual kinetic auditory learning because you're hearing it, you're doing it, and you're seeing it when you read in the classes. Um, is there anything I might want to add? Is there another question? Simulation. <laughs> I, love simulation. I love simulation. Okay, so simulation basically what she said is you get uh, like a pre brief. It's like your patient is blah, 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 this old, they have this condition, history of this, and um, you're going to see what happens. You go into the, you go to uh, either here or you go to the main campus down in San Marcos, which is a lot closer to home for me, and then later um, they basically give you the first, the first case is usually like what the pre briefing is, which is cool. So, like, say like they need medications to be given and maybe they need to like have a culture done of like their mouth. Then you do that. You go in and uh, uh, no pressure, but they record it and everybody, the rest of your class gets to watch on a big screen TV. Yeah. Yeah. Video stream it so yeah. everyone else knows what's happening in the scenario. Yeah. And you go in and you're like, hey everybody, and you look at the camera, and you or you try not to look at the camera, <laughs> and you do your work. And then the interesting thing is, because the patient is like for the most part as real as possible, their uh, case develops over time. So like somebody will give the medication, like the first part that you get the briefing happens and somebody goes in and does the first thing and like, oh no, what if they like develop a cough for the second, for the second shift? So then the next two nurses or student nurses come in and they have to deal with that. Or like, oh no, now they need a blood transfusion and then it kind of like develops over time. 